class, good afternoon, and welcome to my TED Talk. My name is Will, and today for our TED Talk, I'll be discussing social media marketing and more specifically, influencer marketing, which is a phenomenon nowadays. So the first question is, uh, what is influence, in, influencer marketing, and what does this mean to us? Well, do you guys remember when you had that one friend that your parents didn't like in high school, and they'd always ask, you know, if Josh, or some random name, told you to go jump off a bridge, would you do it? And you're probably sitting there like, well, no, of course I wouldn't. But you should think about how many items or products you bought just because an influencer either advertised it in a commercial or posted about it on a social media site and you'd probably think well there's there's a couple products that I have uh, I've bought uh, through that way now influencers those are people that are paid um, to sponsor products through advertisements now this has been happening for years it's not a new um, sort of marketing um, recently, when a lot of people think about influencer marketing, they tend to think about Facebook and Instagram and social media sites that are less common, maybe like Pinterest and Snapchat, where they have popular people posting that maybe they have uh, they like drinking a certain drink or they like using a certain brand of makeup. So they sponsor them through advertisements, but this has happening been happening for a long time. Um, Remember, I had examples like the 1979 uh, Mean Joe Green commercial for Coca-Cola uh, to nowadays where most people think of influencers such as Kylie Jenner uh, posting on Instagram about a certain uh, type of makeup they like to use. Now, what type of people are influencers? Well, it's a good question because most people think influencers are just uh, people that have a very broad reach and are popular. And although this is uh, very much the case, um, some are just very good salesmen. Now, when companies are looking for influencers, they're looking for people to advocate their product. They want them to be honest. They don't just want them to say, go use this product because it's the best product on earth. They want them to actually use it and to genuinely feel that the product is uh, of quality. So, the influencers, they're paid money to post videos, uh, statuses on Facebook or in, on a tweet on, t uh, on Twitter or, or blog on a personal blog that maybe has hundreds of thousands if not millions of followers about a product that they like and their followers will see this and maybe just because that the person that they're following likes this product and is an influencer they'll give it a try which obviously is great news for the company because people are buying their product. Now the company is banking on that these influencers by posting maybe once a day, once a week, once a month, depending on their, their deal with them, the company is predicting that this popularity will help drive product sales. Now like we said before these influencers might not be the most popular. They might just be very good salesmen or women. Um, again, it's not only beneficial for the companies. Influencers themselves, a lot of them can make a living off this if they're good salesmen or women and they know how to uh, market the, the product to their audience. Um, now, some influencers that are more well-known, such as Kylie Jenner, she can make millions of dollars based off one Instagram post where she might post that she likes a certain brand of makeup. Uh, her followers see this and she might have a link to that website on her um, Instagram post. The, her followers click on that, go to the page, purchase the product, and now Kylie or any other flu influencer might get a straight up uh, check for, let's just say, $1 million for putting it on her, her page. She might just get a page or she might get royalties based off... Um, a percentage of each sale for, like we said, the makeup product. Um, now let's talk about the future of this marketing. Like we said, 
the influencer marketing has been happening for years. It has it started out as TV commercials, and then it kind of shifted more toward a, a lot of YouTube videos, and now it's very prevalent on social media through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Snapchat, and these type of social media platforms aren't disappearing anytime soon. Uh, most people would say they're expanding. So the social media influencer market it, market is only growing because there's so many niches around um, around the world that certain influencers are getting involved with, whether it's Kylie Jenner in makeup or it's Sidney Crosby in hockey skates or it's Tom Brady in footballs. There are so many different niches that people are going to be attracted to and it takes the right influencer to sell the product. Like we said, it might not be someone that has a million followers or, or more. Um, someone might not be even involved with it and if they have a lot of followers, a company might, might want to use them because they have no credibility in that field. Like I said, it, you know, the NFL or a company like Rydell wouldn't want to use Kylie Jenner to market a product when they have Tom Brady because the audience isn't going to find um, Kylie credible to sell the product. And I think, finally, personally, I think the influencer market is going to increase because, like I said, the, the social media platforms are increasing. I don't see it going over anytime soon. And I think it's, it's not only good for companies, but again, it's great for the influencers as well. If you can get a niche and you can become popular enough and be a good salesman or woman to be able to uh, earn a living off of it. I'm excited to see what everyone else has been posted this week. And again, this is my TED Talk. Take care.